Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your YouTube channel and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you remove a YouTube channel admin manager? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to remove an admin or a manager from your YouTube channel anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. From time to time, you have contractors that are working with you and maybe you decided to go ahead and part ways with them. So now you have to remove remove the admin from your YouTube channel. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. Unfortunately, it cannot be taken care of in the YouTube studio. You do need to do this in a browser. You can do it on your phone or on a desktop. I'm gonna do it on my phone just cause it's a little easier to film. So let me jump on over to the YouTube studio on my browser. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up the studio. It's studio.youtube.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there. Now, if you're doing this on your phone, it's gonna give you this pop-up asking you to open it up in the studio app. Don't do that cause it's not gonna work. You need to continue to studio. It's going to be this gray button here at the bottom. Okay. So here's another channel that I manage. So what we're going to do, if you want to remove an admin or remove a manager from your YouTube channel here on the left, you're going to see this menu. You want to look all the way to the bottom and there's going to be this little gear icon, gray gear icon. This is the settings button. Go ahead and click on there. Okay. So once you do that, it's going to open up the settings menu and what you want to do is click on permissions. Okay. So this channel is handled through a brand account. So the process is going to be just a little bit different. Don't worry. We're going to go over the other options shortly. So for now we're talking about a brand account. So what you want to do is click on this blue manage permissions button. Once you do that, you're going to see this pop up in a browser and you want to click on this manage permissions button. It's in blue. Okay. Next Google will ask you to log in to your Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and click on this next button. Okay. Once you log in, it just refreshes. Now you want to click on the manage permissions button once again. Okay. So here you're going to see all of the owners, managers, and admins for your YouTube channel in the brand account. So you cannot remove the primary primary owner. However, alternate owners, managers, and admins you can remove. And all you're going to do is look for their name and then click on the little downward arrow. So once you do that, you can go ahead and change their title if you want to do so. Now, if you want to remove the primary owner, you need to make another person the primary owner before you can delete them. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and permanently delete this manager here. So what you want to do is click on this little X here to the right of their name. Okay. You do get this warning saying that if you remove that person, they are going to lose access to that account, any associated content content, including YouTube and Google my business. So if you're okay with that, and you still want to remove that admin from your YouTube channel, click on this blue remove button. Okay. Next my Google account refreshes and it shows my other channels down here. So if your YouTube channel is in a brand account and you want to remove a manager or admin, that's how you can do it. Now, if you don't have your YouTube channel set up as a brand account, you can still remove the admins and managers. Let me go back to another channel and show you what that looks like. Okay. So here I am back on another channel that I manage. So this one is not a brand account. This is actually managed permissions inside the YouTube channel. So same thing, you want to click on the gear icon down here on the bottom left. Once you get there on the left, click on permissions. Okay. So as you can see, this one's a little different because it shows you the role right here in the menu. You don't need to click off into a brand account. Now, if you want to go ahead and remove an admin or a manager, it's going to be basically the same thing, except for you don't have to go that extra step. You just want to look for the person you want to remove this person. And then they have that same little arrow next to their name. Just click on the arrow and then it's going to give you a drop down of the different permissions. Once you click on it, you're going to see this one called remove access. Now that will remove the admin or the manager on your channel. I'm not going to do that because that person still helps out with this channel. But once you click on that, you will receive an email confirmation that that person has been removed from your YouTube channel as an admin or as a manager. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to delete or remove a manager or admin from your YouTube channel, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful? If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.